Can everyone that's in here hear me all right? You want to pull in the uh, strap right hand? Yeah, we can do left or right, either or. Let's do it. Yeah, left what do you? Let's try right first. Can do right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Is this live? Yeah. You should always uh, ask the ref for, like, because you don't want to yeah. intentionally move it, get it off your ulnar bone, too. Yeah. Because when you're pronating, it puts a lot of pressure on there. Yeah. Was there a tournament you were thinking of? Mm. I was looking at the dates in that November one, which obviously I qualified like the for. the Grinders Gym? No, uh, no, it's not a Grinders Gym, I don't think. It's oh, that's one. a Harley. The, cool. Yeah, the locked and loaded one. Oh, you can pull in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I got qualified. an email and then they said that, uh, like, the pros asked, because if they could have their whole team travel with them, that they would just want all the amateurs to be able to qualify for that or whatever. Yeah, tighten it a little more. Yeah, so probably like January because the dates for that seemed like they'd be bad for me. You ready? commit too much because I knew you could probably pull through. Ready? Oh. That pronation is going to be so deadly. It already is. something there though yeah that's a lot of finger pressure i'm not able to keep a straight or cuffed wrist until yeah. i scoop in this is the best i felt against you on the strap uh, yeah i get some because i was working pronation before but it was always super high rep so i'm gonna start that's what i'm doing heavy. now just conditioning the tendons so i can start doing high rep uh low reps high weight again going to be on the back of your shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not like injury, yeah, really, but... I know. Everybody doing tonight? Can you guys hear me? All right. So, like we always do, at the end of the stream, it shows me who is the most engaged or who liked the stream the most. We're giving away some arm wrestling straps. This is a black and gold tournament strap. So keep that in mind. Your hand. 
been so thick. I feel so much better in this trap with you. Thank you. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would not be good. <clears throat> not me that time. How does it feel? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the strip. Right. It's not a good feeling, oh, is man. it? No, it isn't. No, it is not. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you strengthen your grip, that's just gonna, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Well, I do a lot of high rep grip stuff, but maybe I need to buy some uh, captains and crash ball. When I'm at so. work, I started doing like a thousand grip stuff a day when I remember, mm. and then I have those bands where you just do it reverse so you don't get carpal yeah. tunnel. Yeah. It's cool though. And then I you just like, it's not. Uh, do you, you bring weights with you or bands to work? Um, right now I actually have a, like a strap, like an arm wrestling, like a martial arts belt and I yeah. just have a carabiner to like a backpack. Right. I'll put like waters and stuff in there. Fill it up with water. Yeah. And just mess with that and then I'll just do push-ups all day and stuff. Because it's not a manual labor job, it's yeah. like in like a lab or all right, all right. different stuff so it's like okay. I'm gonna be on night so I'll just be able to train. Go oh damn it. See this is where you don't need side pressure. this you all the side pressure I put into it's not going to do anything because you have such a dominant position yeah so that's what I'm saying once you're able to take people's hands completely yeah you're not going to need side pressure well I've been watching a lot of arm wrestling too and I think what I was doing before too is I was over adjusting yeah. I was in a good spot like constantly trying to gain better position Instead of when I realized if out, I'm yeah. at a spot that I feel like I'm not right because if, if you're already good here and you try to adjust that gives someone a chance yeah. to readjust yeah so that's what you and Justin were doing to me every time I would readjust all mm -hmm. of a sudden yeah rookie mistakes you know <laughs> If you take my hand, I have no chance. You got anything, Joseph, when you're done? What's what's uh, more sore, your right or your left? I'm not really up All right, let me feel. I'll see if I have anything left for you. Left hand. Oh. Damn, right. fourteen thousand likes already. You guys are killing it. Thank you guys. How does someone get into arm wrestling? The best way is one of my favorite arm wrestlers made an app called Arm Bet. And if you download that, it'll show you all the arm wrestlers in your area. They'll help you get set up with arm wrestling with them, or they're usually part of a team. Most of us are super welcoming, so finding that app and then finding people near you, you're going to be 100% good to go. Thank you guys so much for the pancakes. I appreciate it. So every single thing and every gift that's uh, here, what this does is it helps us buy more tables for the team, support them. I haven't even went over them with it yet, but we all compete in tournaments and it's gonna help us basically help with their entry fees and us travel to different tournaments and show off the sport of arm wrestling. For example, Joseph, if you've seen the recent video I posted, genetic freak and his strength, it, you're laughing, but it's true. Like 
my shoulder the day after pulling him. I walked, I live near the shop and I walked home after. I'm just like, oh my God, my shoulder. But this guy's gonna be one of the best. We're just at the tip of unlocking that. And to be able to get him to travel and show the world how strong he is, you guys are a part of that and helping spread the sport. So thank you. We'll do left first, yeah. See, this is the, what is this, like your third practice, and he just adjusted the pin me. This is absolutely insane. Constant pressure. Adjustment. So, like, once you climbed, I'm pretty much. I'm like, I have to watch my riser now. But that was so fluid the first climb. Like, there's nothing I could do about it. How's your guys' office feeling? Feeling it? Yeah. yeah. You, you picked it up really fast, man. Like, your arms just. What's more? Like, what's the most sore? Where, like, where on your arm? Okay. That's that's normal. That's good. Switch arms? Yeah. yeah. So I've been, I've been arm wrestling for two and a half years. He's been arm wrestling three times. And that's how much tension he's able to put on. He even snuck a pin on my left arm. It's absolutely crazy. Welcome everyone. Oh, just like I said, a lot of people came in since. Whoever gets the most likes, it shows at the end of the stream. I'll like follow you back or message you saying that you won. You get a free lion strap sent out to you. This one's gold and black. It's a tournament strap. One of my favorites, so just throwing that out there. Thank you so much for the pancake. I appreciate you. Oh, who sent that? As a man. Thank you for the third pancake. Appreciate that. I would think he, I would think, I would think I don't have legs, yeah, I, I got him <laughs> surgically <laughs> removed, <laughs> just so, so I could be in the lightweight class, yeah. That's like that guy, size though your endurance is really good like Troy he's got a lot of strength output from the beginning 
But I feel like your endurance lasts longer. I mean, my endurance has increased going with you all. Yeah, yeah. That's really and I good. get smoked from day one. <laughs> <laughs> you went for it. Like, I don't think, I think out of everyone we haven't seen yet, you probably arm wrestled the most on day one. Oh my gosh. Whew. All right. So, uh, that, oh, hold on, we got another pancake. Oh, I can't see who sent it. Thank you so much for the pancake. I'll scroll up in just a second. So, sometimes, like, the screen doesn't show because some stuff pops up, but I really do appreciate you guys. Man. Yeah, I definitely do look more fluffier on uh, camera. I don't get what people are saying, though. <laughs> to me, you're solid muscle. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. This, hold on, it might be loud. I got to adjust this, guys. some point on the stream we're going to go over some techniques we like to hook here hooking builds the foundational strength of arm wrestling in your elbows but we've got josh in the back he's an extremely good top roller top rolling and arm wrestling is if you wanted to go and beat your friend at school or at a bar just someone it's the easiest way to victory in arm wrestling you need the strength to execute it overall arm wrestling strength wins but if you can apply your strength in certain areas He'll give me a little bit of pressure. If I were to go through his wrists and fingers like this, his wrist comes back and he's a lot more susceptible to being pinned because I'm controlling his hand. Taking control of his hand puts all my strength into his hand and he's not able to access all the strength in his arm. So we'll go over how to do that in a little bit. That was just the basics. A hook in arm wrestling, you're literally making the shape of a hook. The hook uses a lot of shoulder, elbow, biceps, and forearms and wrists to hold that hook position. And when you're in here, it's using your whole frame and seeing, it's basically called like testing your frame, seeing who's got a stronger frame and that's the strength move in arm wrestling. But, stick with right, do left, which one you wanna do? Oh, uh, I'll go left. Left, okay. Oh, let me see. Oh yeah, we also got uh, three bucked up shakers for everyone. Wrong side. It's in the, if you go on my page, whenever. While they last, they come with some free supplements too. I love them, but uh, what do we got here? Six pancakes already. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna kill the goal. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the follows and the likes. 100,000 likes already. So one of you's gotta be doing a lot of that work and is gonna win this, so thank you. Like, you're gonna love it. I love arm wrestling. You guys are gonna love these traps. James, James, thank you for the pancakes. My man. Christ, the poor. <laughs> All right, I don't, this thing keeps sticking out. It looks so weird. James, James hooked it up with the pancake. No, wait, no, no, this, that's Saucy James. That's the, our gym, yeah. James, you're how I want to top roll out of it. Naturally, I don't like being. God, your left's going strong. Third freaking practice and he's this strong. God damn. Wish I was this strong in my third practice. <laughs> the left is definitely better than the right. Yeah. Even though I'm power right. Yeah. Go. Oh. I don't see if I can do anything. Go. Oh. One shot. Why is this doing that? What's 
wrong with this thing? Yeah, you go. I'll just try to hold it. You guys can hear me, right? I'm not just talking to myself. Yeah, whatever. I'm, all I'm going to do is hold you. So. Go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. You guys just witnessed an arm wrestling slip. So when you slip an arm wrestling, the whole strap thing that I was talking about giving away, when you slip an arm wrestling, you go into the strap. The ref will normally strap us up, but we're gonna do it ourselves this time. And I'll show you guys how to tie this as well. I also have a video of it on my YouTube on how to tie it in under a minute. Basically, the straps tell no lies. When you're in the strap, the stronger person, arm wrestling strength-wise, usually wins. And the reason is, when the strap goes around your wrist like this, the cowboy hat just popped up or something? Did I miss something? What popped up? Whoever said the cowboy hat, thank you. <laughs> so when the when the strap's tied to your wrist like this, you're able to use so much more strength. Instead of just making it a hand game, it eliminates that top roll that I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Basically, straps right here. You're now able to drag with your back and your lat, and it doesn't matter if your hand goes backward, which is one of the worst things in arm wrestling, they call it the flop wrist. When your hand goes backward and you're in the strap, you're still able to use your lat and your back. So he's gonna be able to use a lot more of his back muscles in this and getting him engaged in that's gonna make it a lot more difficult to hold. Uh, but tighten up. You can tighten it more if you want. He's just tearing everything. Look at this guy. Okay. Ready. Go. It's a lot harder to hold this round. I think, yeah, I'm holding, like, see, your row is so strong that you're dragging me to the front of my pad. And then I just got to put everything into holding that with some back pressure, but. Oh, that's ridiculous. Do you ever measure your forearm? No. No? I want to see how big it is. Where do you, do you feel it pumped, like in the forearm, or where do you feel it? I feel it in my tricep and forearm. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's normal. Like wearing the forearm right here? Yeah. Yeah. I always feel this blow up. That's right here. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's your brachioradialis, so that's good. That means you're arm wrestling correctly. All right, let's see what we got. Nine pancakes, did I miss the pancakes? Two pancakes, thank you, God. And thank you, Hill Jack, for the weights. Thank you so much. The pancakes, you don't know what the, pa the more pancakes. You guys don't know how much you guys are helping the team. Thank you, Double T. I'm hungry. Oh, pancakes. <laughs> you are amazing, thank you, James. Oh my gosh. You guys don't know how much like you guys are helping. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're gonna make pancakes now? <laughs> Holy cow, James. Everyone, get in here. We gotta, we gotta flex this off for James. The pancake, <laughs> yeah, flex. Jay, thank you guys so much. Like, this is really. 
Ah! You guys are awesome. Just, you, got, you got some uh, left or right? Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, we'll do some right. This is the this is the top rolling master in the building tonight. He his first tournament he he crushed this uh, Joseph building up a sweat. <laughs> he lubed it up for you. It's all right. This guy wins his first tournament, very first tournament by top rolling everyone. It was beautiful. James, thank you guys so much. And everyone, look at that cloud of smoke above. Me. What's what's glitching? Is the stream glitching? All right. Thank you so much for the follows and likes. We're almost at 200K. So I'm, I'm curious to who's going to win the strap. The most engaged person to get the strap. I might have to give a couple away since you guys are doing so awesome. You really need that much chalk. With how wet this pad was, man? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So first of all, wait, what's, what's popping up on here? Okay, so first of all, his forearm is so much longer than mine. Like stick your forearm straight up in his hand. Look how much higher his goes. In, in arm wrestling, leverage is so important and he knows how to use his leverage by utilizing how much bigger his hand and how much longer his forearm is. So when I attempt to sink him into a hook, one of the times he takes my wrist back, which you might see if I can't successfully get him into the hook. In which case I would slip and then I would attempt to get into the strap, but we'll see what I could do. Ready? <sighs> see, when I say finger pressure, this is all the finger pressure he's putting into me that I'm talking about. Oh, that's so much pressure on the wrist. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Just don't push it right too hard. Yeah. And you don't feel it at all in your wrist when you're pulling? What do you feel it when you're just not pulling, like doing regular stuff? Where you feel it off? Or? Oh, down here. This time, no, the last huh. practice I came to, it was sort of bad, yeah. though. It's one that, like, pinches down. Right. Oh, I know what you mean. Thank you, Dark Ghost Dub for the fire. And for all the shares, guys, you are seriously amazing. We're already at 18 pancakes and we're only like 15 minutes in. These guys are like perfect. All right. When someone has a long forearm like him, not only is it hard to contain, with my hand, since he has a bigger hand and longer form, it's also hard to grip up with him. Like, his elbow's on the ground, and our webbing is even, and this is how much higher my elbow is. So this is where I'd have to be, to be even with him. Now, what is, that's like three or four inches, right? Like how much? Yeah. They won't let me start with my elbow up like this, so I have to bring it down, and that's where he's able to use his leverage as an advantage. I would probably attempt to go to ref's grip with you in a tournament. Just because like, yeah. it's so tough to grip up with him. And I think people underestimated that when you first gripped up with him. Yeah. Because even in your class, your hand was usually bigger than the other guy, right? Like your oh, hand's yeah. Devin size in a class yeah. under, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh. Those fingers are gonna go. I get him. <laughs> oh, you gotta hook me now. <laughs> Test your frame. <laughs> All right, so oh. do some left. Do some left. That was good. Dude, look at this, bro. <laughs>
Like with the towel here. Yeah, this is like some on the sink. Why is this being funky? Oh, this might be loud. I gotta adjust this to pancakes again. Who sent the pancakes? Let me see. Permanent kush with the pancake. Ah, oh, thank you. You're helping feed this poor team of mine. I appreciate it. Double, double A, 915. Thank you so much. You guys are killing it. We're almost at 200K likes. Like, hold on. This is, this is absolutely crazy. It might be loud. I'm adjusting this. So just hold on. Bear with me for a second. See if I can put it higher. I gotta figure out a better way to put this thing. Yeah, it's crazy how strong your right is. This, this guy, and Josh, these are all guys to watch. So don't put my leg under the table like that. It's basically, you're, you're completely allowed to put your leg under the table like that. So in arm wrestling, putting your leg under the table does not do anything. It really, if it does anything, it helps stabilize the table so it doesn't lift up like this. I put my feet on the table. If it keeps it stable. Now, when you lean in arm wrestling, that's not cheating. Since 1950, it's been like this. I'm going to blow your guys' mind right now. Okay, and I'm serious. If you all are at home, I mean, if you're holding your phone, do it with your other hand. If you're not, take both hands and bring your elbows in like this. Keeping your elbows still. Just move your hands out. You feel that tension on your bone right there? It's not a good feeling. When people say arm wrestling is just this, they're just moving that bone. That's not strength at all. That's how much torque you can generate in your bone. The average person can only handle 15, handle 15 pounds of pressure. With this bone, it's called the humerus bone. 15 pounds of pressure outside of your shoulder line, meaning your hands outside of this line, only takes 15 pounds of pressure to get a spiral fracture of the humerus. Arm wrestling like this is not safe. When you use your body, it's a whole isometric uh, motion of your body that takes strength from your shoulders to fingertips, biceps, and elbow, even your back by dragging back. True strength in arm wrestling is coming by moving your body. And if you're if you're too weak, say I'm weaker than Josh and I'm arm wrestling him. If he's as strong as a wall, you, you could test this on the wall. If I just just stay still, gotcha. if I go to move with my whole body, how is my whole body cheating if he's too strong? My whole angle opens up like this because he's stronger than me. But if I was stronger than him then I would be able to use the strength of my body to bring him down with me. And that's why this is how professional arm wrestling has been for over, what, 70 years now, right? Yeah. We doing left? Okay. Yeah. All right. It's that, it's the little top roll pinch that you do. The gym does the same thing. Yeah, that's what I learned. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> See how he uses his leverage to an advantage, and now he's all the way up on my knuckles. I have to hold so much more force than when he's not on my knuckles. Ah! <laughs> You, if you just held it there, you would have had me. If you held it yeah. down there. It's my problem, right? Yeah. Once you get stuck, well, readjusting is good, but also if you, if you already have an upper hand in position to your opponent, I would say you probably don't need to readjust. Just wait for your opponent to attempt to readjust and block them from readjusting. So, like, if I was, if you had me here, and you're in the better position, instead of trying to readjust. If I jump forward, then you keep rolling back, and now I'm even more screwed, right? Versus like if you try to press, then you let me get where I want, mm. and then I can work my way around, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Let me get some shot. Okay. Are you talking about the shoulder one? Yeah. Where, dude, Troy just did that. Shoulder length like this, Troy did that so easily, we put a bumper plate on it and he still did it. 
With the what? The one the bar. Oh, there's another one where you're supposed to pick it up off the ground Ooh. and then like bend it like this. And oh, with, with both carry. hands, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and there's people like uh, standing on little like uh, medicine balls and balancing himself, putting a stack of cards in there <laughs> and standing at an angle and like dead looking like standing on top. Ready? Yeah. Ah! God damn it. And I just told you how to beat it. <laughs> no, no, feel free to readjust. <laughs> We need chill here all day. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> you tell someone how to beat you and they hold it against you. <laughs> but that's how as a team we get stronger. So I'm I'm only happy about that. But that was that was perfect. That was good. Mm. I'm also 80 pounds over your weight class or something. It doesn't matter. <laughs> how is that arm wrestling? It's, I, you know, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. This is how arm wrestling's been since 1950. But in general, using your body weight, it's allowed because you need strength to use your body weight versus just moving your bones. Okay, so that's that's usually how how it is. It's like if you can do a one arm pull up, you can't even use your full body weight in arm wrestling unless you could do a one arm pull up. If you can do a one arm pull up, then you have access to using your whole body weight as a form of strength. So most people can't do that. Like, I think it's one in 100,000 people. 100,000 people can do a one-arm pull-up. So only like that many people can really access their true strength of their whole body weight. Everything else is building up calcification in your elbows and tendons and your bicep tendon, shoulder strength, forearm strength. That's arm wrestling. When I was pressing, or when you were surging, uh, like when you kind of surged and like right there. Yeah. I did. I have breached. Get out of there. I have breached the My fortress. Defense. <laughs> Your defense. All right. What's going to make a huge difference for me too is when I strengthen my riser. Yeah. Yeah. Because your riser is dumped right now. Yeah, I think that's really what's uh, holding me back. better when you don't adjust actually because now I'm like I have a hard time working my way out of it <clears throat> there you go you gave it to me <laughs> Yes, you do. Uh, it's only going to help your endurance by being more patient. Yeah. As long as you're not patient to where you're losing position, right? Yeah. Then you should be fine. Yeah, like fighting a completely yeah. losing battle. Yeah. Ref screw? Well, this is a fair group. Right. Close, right. Close your hand. So yeah, the second I took my foot off the table, the table moved. So it's more of such a stable thing. It doesn't do anything if I even move my foot around when I arm wrestle. In fact, I could like... The feet don't really do much when you're arm wrestling. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Especially if you're playing against the table. But just like to, to show like your, your feet don't do so much when you arm wrestle because you're... Your uh, elbow is the anchor point, not your feet. Thank you guys for the likes. Appreciate y'all. Okay. Get on there. Let's go. 28 out of 37 pancakes already. Thank you so much for the rose, Kelstrom. Thank you, Anna, for the fire and Airwolf. We're almost at the goal of 37 pancakes already. Oh. 
yeah, pretty much we hold free practices here every Thursday and supply all this stuff. So really helps towards helping the team grow as we're getting new members of the team and expanding. Helps even everything down to getting chalk, tables, more straps, plus all the straps I'm giving away to you guys. Your offense feels really good. Defense yesterday, I made a huge difference. Let's see how the defense feels. Ready? <laughs> offense feels good. Yeah, offense feels really good. Okay. Go. <laughs> I want to feel more pressure on the fingertips though. Because even if you're in the hook and you're dragging back, feel feel this is what you're doing. You can be putting, so give me pressure. You can be pulling back with the fingers and it's just going to open up easier. All those things. Okay. Go on. So, like, the more you work out, the more you're not I'm going to show you guys. Me and Josh are going to show you guys how to top roll after this. So for anyone new here, go ahead. So for anyone new here, it's basically where you are. It's controlling the hand in general. It's going to be what's going to help you win at a bar, high school, college, wherever you're on wrestling, at a party, family. It's the easiest and quickest way to win in arm wrestling and one of the fastest methods to learn. Left. I need to like wear a necklace or something and then clip this to it because this thing keeps sticking out. It's weird. Hold it. Don't get greedy. Just keep holding it. Mm -hmm. Now drive back all the way elbow to the back. Just hold it. Why did you stop holding it? Because I lost power. Go. I see all the likes still coming in. Thank you guys so much. We do have other colors than black and gold. It looks like I'm going to have to give more than one strap away, so I'll let you guys choose your color, but black and gold is usually the favorite. That's for at the end of the stream when it tells me the most engaged viewers. I'll probably pick like the top two or three right now. If it keeps going up, I might have to pick up to the top five. A little bit more. Go. What are you doing? Pressing. Go. I'm doing a little bit of that, I guess. Okay, go ahead. I dropped probably like, I was probably like 18% when I was on my bowl. I'm 
right, man. I don't. I mean, if if, if you're not on anything, then you should ignore it. Too much to just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Joseph, much. you got any? Yeah. All right, guys. Time for the hammer to come in. Let's see if I still have anything for you. Did someone send a pizza? Jojo, thank you for the pizza. I like pizza. I don't remember the last time I had pizza. Overdue. Yeah. All right. Did you left or right? Neither or. I'm good to go. Okay, let's do... Let's do left first, might as well. <sighs> Get rid of that pump really quick. Hopefully you're a little worn out. <laughs> I probably am. Well, hold on. I'm, I gotta see. I gotta see how big your forearms are. Like, look how big his forearms are. Like, flex your forearms next to mine. It's insane. Like, okay, for reference. My forearm is. Let's do a quick measurement before oh, no, I pull. I think them. yours are pretty close. It's, it's, it's no it's way. It's very hard for me to tell. There's seriously I think no you, way. You might have slightly bigger forearm. <laughs> now you're just joking. No, I'm not. Okay, so like if we just do 90 and flex, and find the biggest part of the forearm. I'm barely like 14 inches. If you do like a 90 degree and flex, we're not going to do the whole push it up against it and make it big. And then here, come closer to the camera. So bring it right here, and then don't flex yet. You're, you've got to be like 15 and a half or something. Pancakes. Wait, who sent, who sent the pancakes? <laughs> Steven! <laughs> My guy, all right, all right, let's see. Let's see how big this guy's form is. All right, come, come to 90 really quick. All right, I'm guessing it's like 15 something. All right, flex. What is that, 15? Here, show the camera. Like, this dude's got a 15 inch form. I, I probably guys can't even see that. 15 inch form, they say, is elite level in arm wrestling. That's goals. If I get to 15 inch form in arm wrestling, it's huge. You're pretty close. I'm 15 inches. Yeah, but you're already there. You're, so basically, you just gotta learn the form. 11, 10 and a half. 10 and a half. You're giving yourself half an inch there. <laughs> as, as all guys do. All right. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that readjustment, that's so good. All right. I got I to gotta make sure to look out for it this time. <laughs> fool me once. <laughs> fool me once, all right? <laughs> Actually, you probably fooled me three times already. <laughs> all right. Ready? Go. <clears throat> to go. I think you were going to out endurance me if I kept holding it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking like I want to do either a video where I arm wrestle 100 Marines back to back or go to a bar and like arm wrestle 100 people or 100 of something but I just want to arm wrestle 100 people in a row. If, let me know your guys ideas because if I can't think of it and I see something I like if it's not the Marines or at a bar somewhere I'm going to do it. It could be like 100 people at a beach or at a skate park, wherever. But I want to hear what creative stuff you guys have in mind. Josh, we're going to show people how to top roll after this. We're going to show people how to top roll after this, okay? Oh, and so Josh, Josh, come in the frame. Hold on, pancake. Oh, that's, that's the pancake. Yeah, who's sending the pancakes? Levi. If I, I hope I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm not. Levi with the pancakes. Is it Levi again? Who's sending it now? James, Ben, and oh my God. <laughs> Did we hit the goal? No way. You guys are freaking amazing. Yeah, everyone get in here and flex for it. We hit the pancake goal. 
You're, you're gonna fit in. Find a way to fit in. Oh. <laughs> I was already pumped. Thank you guys. All right, yeah. So we hit the goal. We're gonna go over our top roll soon. I'm just gonna get another. Let's do right. Let's get another. We'll get a right pump in, and then we're gonna show you guys how to top roll. You guys are freaking fantastic. You, you don't know how how much you guys are helping the team out. It's crazy. Let me see. Where did this go? Oh, I just gotta reset something really quick. Two hundred forty-nine thousand likes. You guys are amazing. I, like I said, the number one thing that we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have to give away like four or five straps at the end of this stream. And we usually give away like one to three, but since you guys are amazing, I'll have to probably choose like a bunch of you. I'm just trying to set this up really quick, bear with me. Okay, so, because we smashed that. I'm gonna see if we can smash one more. We'll add that plus one. We'll see how that goes. All right. I want you all, man. And for reference, look how big this guy's hand is. Look, look how literally like thick and big this dude's hand. Bring it like right up to the camera. Like if we're gonna, we gotta compare, compare sizes. Wait, how do we do this? Wait a little bit that way. Look how big is that? So, I'm I'm like a lightweight arm wrestler, and my hand's like eight inches. And then like, see how thick his is, like make a fist. So in general, like my hands are already bigger than most of my weight class. And he's, he's just got a pair of mittens on him. Or what do we, what do we call it? Bear claws. He got some bear claws. <laughs> All right, Let's see if I got anything. Go. that in the shoulder oh man Whew. yeah pretty much I definitely think my shoulders are my weak spot I don't really feel it in the bones as much or like where most people feel it but after I get in a deep hook I really feel it in the shoulder your endurance is ridiculous because you've been doing it so long I just well so my first arm wrestling practice I did what you did where I showed up to the practice right and I uh I think I got, it started at 12. I got there at like 11, way too early. And I stayed there, they, they stopped at like eight. And I left that nine because I was just talking to everyone after. But I think I stood up for my first year of practice. I arm wrestled maybe like six to eight hours every practice and I didn't sit down the whole time. And it's like, you have, you just naturally get endurance from doing that, right? So. I definitely think my endurance has going up a lot since first It really has, it really has. What in the hell? That pain doesn't stop, though. Who sent 21 pancakes? <laughs> How did we even get like that? I just set the thing and the pizzas. Whoever did that, it's going to show me at the end. You're getting some free stuff after this. Or if it's both for you guys, if I miss that, oh my God, thank you guys so much. I just set that up. That's actually crazy. Like, holy cow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, you guys are literally gonna help me like pay all the entry fees for my my boys on the team. It's just I can't even think of like words. You guys are so freaking awesome. God, what were we gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna arm wrestle. All right, ready? Man, and your form's getting too smart too. I gotta I gotta grip you differently. Now. Ready? Go. <laughs> Yep. Nice and slow adjustments. 
can get pretty good. Make sure you breathe. But it's hard to get really strong without getting bigger. <clears throat> there is the endurance. There we go. <laughs> All right, Josh. Yeah, that was good, man. Fucking good stuff. All right. You guys, you guys are too amazing. We're going straight into the top row now. Here we go. We are going to show you the number one way to beat most people that don't know how to arm wrestle wherever you go. Now, the exception is you do have to have some standard strength. You can't just be so much weaker than your opponent. But if you are similar strength than your opponent and you apply this technique, you'll most likely win. But for example, if I was not even close to his strength, well, say I'm like 80% of his strength and I do this technique, I might still get a win. If he's way stronger than me and he doesn't know what he's doing, no matter what I do, this will not work. But that's why anyone in your normal age, class or regular people at a bar, school or college, you'll be able to usually win with this unless there's some genetic freak. And in which case they are, if you train this movement, you'll be able to beat them soon enough, which is what Josh has been doing. He's able to do over a hundred, almost probably over a hundred pounds in this move. And he's only been training it for a little while. hundred pounds in any, most people can't even bicep curl a hundred pounds. And he can hold on one tiny muscle. This muscle in your form right here is the key and secret to this movement. This forearm muscle is the pronator teres, along with the pronator quadratus in your hand, a smaller one unless you turn your wrist like this. Most bodybuilders and powerlifters don't train this muscle. So if he was like a 300 pound bodybuilder and I wanted to beat him, I would just take his hand like that because they don't usually train their muscles as much. Unless they train wrist curls, which is the counter to this move, it's gonna be a nightmare for them. So this is how we do it. First, I'm gonna let Josh run over the basics with you on the steps to doing a top roll. You ready? All right, yeah. Okay. Typically, I wanna start with as much pronation as I can, because you have to have your wrist straight, but you can have it turned inward. Yeah, keep going. All right. And then basically you're gonna close your hand. You wanna try to be, be high on their thumb, but you have to be able to show their thumb knuckle. That's right, when so up. when you arm wrestle, don't ever let your friend cover your thumb knuckle. Let's show them. So both thumb knuckles right here have to be showing. If I cover his, that's an illegal start and you're not allowed to do that. You cannot do that. Mid Cal Truck School, thank you for the pancake, man. So you have to make sure both your thumb knuckles are showing and then you can climb and do anything after the go. But in the beginning, both of you guys' thumb knuckles have to be showing in a real arm wrestling match. Go ahead. Yeah, and then typically what I do, because I have longer forearms, I'm gonna be forced like in a tournament to start a little bit more back if I wanna keep my, uh, my wrist high. So I'll start back here and at the go, I immediately jump forward with my elbow as I lever back and I raise my hand and I try to get as high as I can while keeping my pronation and pulling back. So ideally, if you wanna be like that, I would dive forward and pull back at the same time. Let's go. So wait, so wait. Yeah, you're probably so, better to explain it. Yeah, no, no, that's it. good. So basically what he's saying was when you're starting, the goal is to get height. He has a long form, so he's not going to be able to start as high as me. My knuckles are pointing to the sky. That means I have the high ground on him, and that's an advantage. Because he has a longer form, and a lot of you tall, skinny guys out there, tall, big guys or girls that have long forms, you're not going to be able to start so high, because if you do, you're going to cover my thumb knuckle or your opponent's thumb knuckle. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your elbow back to make it fair so you're not covering the thumb knuckle and on the go you're going to push your elbow forward and that instant look okay so instantly watch what that does i have the high ground on go and if he pushes his elbow forward which is legit in arm wrestling as long as it's in within a seven by seven inch path instantly look what happens his, his wrist is already high and my wrist is low so if we reset that i have the high ground he pushes forward that dumps my wrist now he can drive back and pry open my fingers. The secret and goal to, to top rolling someone effectively is you want to go through their fingertips to take someone's wrist back like this. So like, let's turn a little bit sideways so they can see. Right now we're in a hook. Now we're in a flat position stomach. This is me top rolling him where his wrist bends back. A flop wrist in arm wrestling is one of the worst positions you can be in because 
you don't have any options from here. Everything's taken away from you. So you want to be starting straight and, or getting a cup after the go because you have to start straight and you want to cup them in. So in this sense, I'm doing the opposite of cupping him in and I'm taking, or he's doing the opposite of cupping me in and I'm popping his wrist back. That's how you top roll. You want to attack their fingers. A shorter person, a shorter person top rolling like me, I already have the high ground on him. So all I have to do, if you guys ever seen the movie Over the Top, when they exaggerate and they go like this, and they reach over the hand, and then he goes like that, that's the top roll. So that over the top move was based, uh, the over top move was based off the top roll move, how Sylvester Stallone or Lincoln Hawk uh, beat everybody. So basically all I would have to do, since I already have the high ground on him, on the go, is if I attempt to go through his fingers and it's too difficult, I increase my leverage, and every single one of you guys can do this. You have a longer form, push forward, and then pull back, and roll your wrist. If you have a shorter form, you can skip that step. Open your hand quick, not exaggerate and slow. Have both thumb knuckles showing, and right on the go, cover his thumb knuckle. That'll give you all the leverage in the world, and it'll have to make him use so much more strength. Cover that thumb knuckle, and pronate through his hand and take him down. Those are the two, there's many different versions of top rolls, but that's the over the top method by going over the top. So that's why with him having such a long form, it's hard for me to sink the hook on him. Because if I try to go in, instead of me getting this move, he's peeling my fingers and wrist open. And I end up in this crazy defensive position where I have to use a lot more strength to pull him out of because he's gained a lot more in leverage. But that's basically the top roll, guys. No, we did not hit the goal again. Are you serious? Where it disappeared because we got it? Oh my gosh. And we're almost at 300,000 likes. We're probably going to have to give away it. Like, we have more stuff than straps too. We've got stress balls. We've got other stuff. All these things that I buy from Lion Straps, the arm wrestling company, we, we will uh, we'll probably have to give it away. It's already like showing me like already off the bat, Big Pop, you got to message me on here. And uh, Devil, because you guys look like you've been doing some awesome stuff so thank you let me get the uh i'll definitely send some stuff to you guys let's get uh this in here there's no way we're gonna top this unless you guys are absolutely going crazy we're just gonna keep adding one every single time and then we can get some crazy work in see if we can tire out my arm see how much strength we can gain tonight okay so we tops 37 we tops 38 what well, there's only one way to go from here that's 39 let's see what we can do 300,000 likes, oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Oh, what happened? What did I do? Okay, we're back. We're gonna even the odds here. Oh no. <laughs> you did not. I found out a secret, like, secret you know, to his powers. You're looking like um, about to go down. The, uh, the, the other Terminator. In the, <laughs> the, I just need the, to whisper The, the cop right? Terminator. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. This is where it goes down, doesn't it? All right. Already he's trying to go and set up that, uh, that top roll on me, so this is going to make it difficult. If you have chalk, that'll help from prevent it. It'll give you more of a grip on the back of the top roller's hand to prevent them from prying and slipping through your fingers. But to be honest, if you're arm wrestling at a bar or at school, you're not going to have that. So you're just going to want to train your wrist curls so you can stop someone as arm wrestling gets more popular from top rolling you or you top roll them back if that's what you're going to do. But if two people do top roll, I'll show you in a second. If we both go to top roll, this is what happens. We end up slipping because both of us are attacking each other's fingers and prying it open. And then you would end up in the strap, which is what I'm giving away to a bunch of you guys in the straps, which will do some pulling in the straps, tell no lies. You're able to use a lot of your muscle and uh, more muscles in your body that are important for arm wrestling instead of just relying on the hand. Being in the strap also helps prevent people that are really good at top rolling like him from completely taking your wrist. And if they do, you still can hold on because the strap's tied to your forearm. All right, all right, go. Ah! So that's what it looks like with the shape. And I'm just attacking his bottom two fingers. I'm trying to open them up even more. It's all back pressure and pronation. Um, 
I promise the move he's doing is very effective. He won a tournament by doing this. Yeah, but he like, he was, he was cut, and then he like, you know, he came off. Endurance, though, man. Nowhere to go, though. Yeah. yeah. The, the press, your press is getting stronger, though. That's got to be all the push-ups, for sure. Yeah. It's people with, like, people with a strong, be uh, strong bench usually come in with a strong press. Why does this keep turning? I don't understand. Oh, I think I know why. Let me see. Let's see if that fixes that. Okay. I'm going to see if I can top roll him back. I should have just done it without saying it. Now he knows I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just too tough for all I don't train my top roll nearly as much as you do, though. It's <laughs> King's moving you. Darn it. You want to go left? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Okay. It's uh, it's one of those things that it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Well, well, thanks. I don't like it. <laughs> no, but it's one it sucks of, for me. It's one of those things. Like I, I don't think it's like from cardio based. It's, I think it's from arm wrestling because arm wrestling endurance is it's like muscular endurance instead of like heart endurance because my heart doesn't yeah. race so much when I'm arm wrestling unless I'm in like a tournament going up against that David guy or something. It's like, he just looks at me like he's going to kill me. All right. Go. Oh. It feels real nice. Yeah. I see how it is. <laughs> Watch your hand. <laughs> well, I can't let you pin me now. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, you call it. You call it. You want to do a ready go? Yeah. Ready go left? Sure. Okay. <laughs> With your speed. You want me to hit? What's that? You want me to hit? The wrestling portion. Do you think it's yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. If you want. So this is uh, what a real arm wrestling match would look like in practice normally. We do do ready goes, like towards the end when our arms are all warmed up. But it's usually the senior holds and the junior works in arm wrestling. So you let them get here, they let you get there, and you trade off. But in a tournament, it's two guys or two girls. Guys and girls don't really arm wrestle in tournaments, but it's either two guys or two girls going all out, and you're going to want to pin your opponent as fast as you can. Because when you're in a tournament, what's going to happen is you are going to go up against many different people. And say I hold him like I am at practice where we're getting strong. Is that your phone? Is that my phone? Oh, that's fine. So basically, you're going to want to finish the opponent off as fast as you can so you don't burn out. That way, when you're in the finals, if you make it, you're not going to be burnt out for your final match. So this is what an arm wrestling match would look like if we were both going to do a ready go. They say, yeah, go ahead. Sure. We might see you break my arm. If we're lucky, no. If we're lucky. I'll say that. Now I don't want to hit. Just go for it, man. Go. So what happened here is we ended up getting in a battle. I wasn't able to fully flash him off the go. And this is not what you want to do in a tournament. Because now, now, most likely what's going to happen is we're going to slip. And then we're going to end up in the straps. And then we're going to do a ready go again. So we'll see how a ready go looks different in the straps now. Remember, straps tell no lies. The ref's applying it, man. What are you doing? <laughs> It's okay, he got this. <laughs> she, she's just the announcer. I'm, I'm also oh. for this match. Don't don't, oh, make, okay. don't make me angry. I'll foul you. <laughs> oh wait, I lifted my elbow during the oh, strap yep. application. It's a warning. <laughs> You're, I'm, I'm a nice ref. I'll give you a warning and not a foul. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you, we, you weave it. I'll let you put it. You just like the walk around your, your table with the round two sign. Really quick. It's still round one. What are you doing? <laughs> round one. Sorry. See, I can't even do my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tighten it as much as you want. Now, this is, would still technically be round one in a tournament. And what we're going to do is we are going to good? do another ready go. Yeah, and see if how that goes. Oh, hold on. Take that off my bone. Tighten it a little more. Oh, that's a good, some good webbing you have there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are we already arm wrestling or what? Uh, <laughs> How are you going to wait for the go? Oh, I'm waiting. Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Okay. I didn't even see that. <laughs> A little bit this way. Ready, go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's like, I mean, I guess a lot of people in the videos, I would never do that to a new guy. Josh has been pulling for a while. He's won a tournament, and he knows what to expect. If I were to do that to a new people, like you see when I arm wrestled the Marines at the shop, that would do no, no benefit for them and no benefit for me. So a lot of people are like, oh, you just hold people, and they get tired, and then you win, and you're tiring them out. If I was in a real match, my goal is to finish it as fast as possible like that, if I can, because I want to save my energy for every future match and possibly the finals if I make it to that. That would be the ultimate goal. All right. Let's see. Thank you guys so much for the follows and likes. We're at 10 of 39 pancakes. Oh my gosh. Whoever's sending this, I'm going to have to find you after this. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. All right, who's got some right? Anyone got right? Right? Okay. You guys are headed out? Okay, oh my God. All right, Matt, no, dude, you are insane like how natural you are at this. So if there's something you want to keep doing, just either come back with Zach or Eli or something or have them give you my number because like the movements is people usually take, and believe me when I say this, like I've been training people now for a while like i've had i've some guys that haven't picked up what you have on within 15 minutes in months so like it's freaking impressive oh, yeah. dude oh yeah Come back. and dude Later, man. keep up the strength and uh you and eli should be coming next week for sure right yep yeah, I, I don't have anything going on cool hell yeah zach oh you hijacked the table now you're gonna make him all tired for me sorry you're talking <laughs> All right, I guess I'll answer some questions. Thank you, Reddy Red, for the follow. I appreciate you. Remember, guys, whoever is the most engaged, oh, you guys, you guys are good. Whoever, guys, the most engaged viewers, we're gonna have to give away a few. Gets a golden black lion strap at the end of the stream. Thank you, Senior, for the rose. I appreciate that. Have you ever seen Over the Top? Wait. Josh, use this one. Use this one so it's not too loud. It's, it sounds like we're doing some construction in here. Okay, here, use, use that one. Okay, so, all right. I have seen Over the Top. I, I, there was one point where I was watching it like every month. But, uh, so arm breaks. Arm breaks are not so common in the sport of professional arm wrestling as they are with amateurs. In amateur arm wrestling, there's gonna be a, um, a lot of arm breaks because people aren't keeping their hand within their shoulder line. And when your hand's not within your shoulder line, um, it only takes 15 pounds of pressure for your arm to break. What kind of bike do you ride? Thank you for the shades, Kelsey, I appreciate that. Thank you, Anna, for the weights. Do you arrest every day? I do something for arm wrestling every single day. Sunglasses indoors, I have an eye condition where if I take them off, I'll get a migraine. I was going through health issues for the past two years, and somehow that was the only thing that stayed. What is that? That's a dog? No way. Thank you, Anna, for all the gifts. And what, who sent that? What was that dog thing? That was crazy. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Doing my best to let them all arm wrestle so you guys can see. Right, these comments are going by so fast, so I'm doing my best to, to catch up with them. 
get, when we get to 400,000 likes, we'll go over the hook. Hooking is, uh, yes, using your body keeps you safe in arm wrestling. So, I'm in Southern California. When we get to 400,000 likes, I'll show you guys how to do the hook, which is the strength move in arm wrestling, and also how to keep you safe. Thank you, Ben, for the rose. I appreciate you. We got to arm wrestle practice again someday. He's putting his R too far over. Isn't that cheating? No. Everything they're doing is completely legal. How many pounds to break an arm? If you're in a bad position, you only take 15 pounds to break an arm. That's why it's so common for non-professional arm wrestlers. The giveaway, it show, I can't see it. I don't know how to see it when I'm on the thing. I do the giveaway every time. One of the things I do is make it a win-win for everyone. I love supporting people that are passionate about the sport. So it shows me who the most gifters are at the end and I reach out to every single person, follow them back, and so I'm able to message you guys and then I get your info and send you some stuff out. We do have more options in the black and gold, but it's usually the, the favorite. In terms of uh, arm breaks, yeah, I have had one happen right in front of me, but uh, it sounds, it's really loud. It sounds like a shotgun. It's not the, it's not the craziest thing to see. Like, yeah, the arm goes like that, it goes flat. But what's the, the worst part is their reaction when they go into shock. Because then you got like trying to comfort them when their mind's racing is it's pretty difficult. Because like, especially for some people, when they use their arms every day, it can be pretty crazy. But in general, if you arm wrestle safe, there's less injuries in pro arm wrestling than pro football, basketball, baseball, and, and many other sports. Ready? Actually, let's uh, let's show. Let's show you. Thank you for the flowers. Let's show you guys how. Let's bring the table closer. We're gonna show you guys how to tie the arm wrestling strap. Because whoever is winning, thank you, Chris, for the roses. Whoever is winning, the straps are. Well, we're gonna do multiple. You guys have to know how to tie it. So now is the time to tie it. One thing about straps is they tell no lies. The, meaning the stronger person usually wins in the strap. But there is one given thing that determines something. Uh, not some more like back in the day more so, but not, not so much today. Whoever gets the buckle, there's only one buckle and one part that you thread through it. Whoever has the buckle when it gets tight has a slight disadvantage than the person who doesn't have the buckle. And the reason why is because once everything's tied around our arms, go ahead, and you're pulling down on this to tighten it, it supinates me. This is the act of supinating. And what this does is it makes my palm face more up. And even if I can straighten my arm out after the pressure gives you a, just a slight disadvantage. So when you're being in a position where the strap's being tied, you wanna make sure your hand is as pronated as it can to avoid getting that pulled down on. If you adjust while they're tying the strap, you can avoid the big disadvantage. But in general, it's not gonna be a huge big deal. Just know like if, if you're going up against a clone of you, Whoever has the buckle is probably going to end up losing if they're an exact clone from a slight disadvantage. Just like us, we're clones. So, <laughs> if only my forearm was that big, man. God dang it. Yeah, I, I think your do. bicep's bigger. <laughs> you crazy, man. Right. Oh, wait. I was supposed to show you guys how to tie it, not just tie it. Now it's on me. Okay. Say I have the buckle side. Okay, you're just going crazy with the roses, Chris. Thank you, my man. All right, buckle. Say the buckle goes on my side. That means 
And this is important because if you don't tie it this way, then the right pressures won't be applied and it won't keep you as stable and locked in together. The buckle goes on my hands, goes through our thumbs, comes down the back of his hand, the strap. Then I'm gonna take the strap, and the strap always gets wrapped around the forearm of the person that has the buckle, so that's me. I got the buckle, the first wrap goes around my forearm. Usually in tournaments, they let you do it up to an inch below your wrist bone, and nothing lower, because then you get a huge uh, advantage over your opponent. After it wraps around my wrist, I come around, and I bring it around his wrist. This is where it's important. This is uh, called the hustle strap in arm wrestling. If you want to beat all your friends and get a huge advantage, you give them the buckle, and then you just run the strap under and thread it up and down. A real strap applied, let's come close to the camera. There's two straps, the one, there's two lines right here. You're gonna to want to go underneath. Instead of going underneath all of them, like this, you pull this strap down and you go through it. So now the strap is in the middle, wedged in right here, above this strap. That way it doesn't put pressure when it comes around and tightens and screw up the person's arm, or screw up the position of the person's arm, ultimately making them 30% weaker if you do a hustle strap on them. So this would be the fair tournament strap that we're doing right now. But if you wanted to make some easy money on your friend and you know that you're close in strength, and you have one of these straps, you can put them in the hustle strap, just like that, you'll have the huge edge on him. So it's gonna go through the first loop up, come down the outer loop, and then you use it like a ratchet strap where you just pull up and down, just like this. And that's gonna tighten it. And you can tie into your liking. Usually the person with the buckle gets to tell the ref, because we don't usually tie it on each other in a tournament a ref does. And the person with the buckle gets to, the only benefit they have is they get to determine the tightness. Chris, you were going crazy with the roses, man. Thank you. Okay. So lift up the table and bring it back. That was probably loud. All right. Go ahead. Pulling in the strap is a lot different than pulling outside of the strap and using your whole body. See how he has access? Good. See how there's access to his whole back there? Our hand position was here, and he drag, drug, drag or drug? Drags, <laughs> dragged. He dragged his whole back, and he brought me to the back of his pad, and then brought me down. He's able to use his, all the back strength he has, because the bottom strap, when I say it tells no lines, he's able to use that instead of being tied, instead of being just limited to the hands, he's able to use the bottom strap and pull with all his back muscles. So now, I have to find a way to counter it by either pulling back as well or doing my best to, to lock up my arm and prevent him from pulling me back to his side of the pad. Go ahead. Fighting that back, dude. <laughs> That's not easy. That's strong. You're definitely a strap puller for sure.
That's strap on. It's a different ball game. Oh my goodness. A lot of times there's so much pressure in the strap that your hand just blows up with uh, pressure and uh, it'll turn red or purple or, or anything. It's great. A thousand roses, Chris. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, my man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Anna, for the pancake. Thank you so much. All right. You don't lean with your whole body. You've been allowed to lean with your whole body. In, um, since 1950 in professional arm wrestling. And after like two matches, you'd be gassed. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Let's do some right hand with him. All right. Do some right hand. Do some right. Do some right. And then let's see where are we. Where are we in likes? 397,000. 398,000 likes. So, what we're going to do is right when we hit 400,000 likes, if it's after I am arm wrestling in, what we're going to do is go over how to hook. We went over the top roll. Now we're going to go over how to hook in arm wrestling. That's my favorite move. It's usually the move I'll use. Against most people you see in my videos or tournament, it's the strength move in arm wrestling. It's all about testing your frame, using your bicep, locking your whole body, and just moving with one motion. It's a, it's very it's like satisfying when you pull in a hook with someone because that's where really long matches can take place, and it's just really fun. All right. Yeah, I really do want to see you arm wrestle Troy though. That would be that would be a cool video. Yeah, he's here when I show up. Oh, uh, there's, yeah, I mean. I told him I'd be here. This I know, time. right? We, you did. <laughs> you did tell him. <laughs> he's, he's been going to the gym, though, so. But you're coming here, so you're getting a hell of a lot stronger for arm wrestling. All right. shoulder so much all right hop in here josh dude back to back right oh my goodness you still got oh, rose man chris what was that yeah all it's all yours man Any, anything that we have here it's all for you guys that's why i'm so supportive uh are so thankful for you guys like with all the gifts that you're helping me with it helps me buy all coconut water gatorades protein for everyone that comes by and trains you're helping support arm wrestling and everything i'm doing to which is my goal to spread arm wrestling as far as i can into the world every single one of you even just being here watching and liking sharing the live you're all a part of that so thank you okay Oh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my toughest thing is when I pull up weight classes in a pro division and everyone's got a long forearm like this. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be what's tough. Go. It's okay. It's taught never to give up. You have well, to it's take just, me down. It's just a practice pull, man. It's not like there's anyone watching. <laughs> oh, I do feel my arm blowing up more. 
that little, ah, uh, that press is feeling heavy. Fuck. Uh, uh, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a tough press. It's getting rougher and rougher as the, as the minute goes by. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, we're already way past 400,000. Shoot, thank you guys. All right, I guess we're gonna show you guys how to hook. The move you just saw me do right here is the hook in arm wrestling. And the hook is, the, hold on, like, can you guys tell me in the chat too loud? Is the music too loud or can you guys hear me fine? I don't wanna explain this whole thing and then, and then have the, uh, have you guys not be able to hear me. So we're about to go over the hook. You can hear me? All right, cool. Uh, also, a lot of you guys are gonna win this strap. Where'd the strap go? Oh, right here. I can give away a lot of these supplements of your choice. The link is in my, uh, on my page to get your free shaker at any time you guys want. This is the hook and arm wrestling. Let's bring the table closer. Okay, hook is my favorite move, so I'll be able to teach it better than I do the top roll, which is why he taught the top roll. If you want to beat people in the strength move of arm wrestling, your main goal, and there's many different forms of a hook, but it is to get this, this is the hook shape. See, my arm is literally creating a hook motion. To get very strong in the hook, the one thing you want to work a lot in the gym, if you're not getting table time, is wrist curls. If you could do it from a pulley coming down, that's gonna be ideal because it stimulates, or not stimulates, simulates the arm wrestling motion. You can also do wrist curls like off a table or sitting on a bench. Training your form is key for the hook because if my wrist is too weak and it goes backward, well, that's the exact opposite of a hook and you don't want that. Bring that hook in. Don't let your wrist get taken by top rollers. Off the go, there's two ways I can do it. I can go for the high hook, which is just cupping in like this, bringing everything close to my body and dragging back. Now, if he's really strong in his pronation, he's gonna be able to take my wrist as I drag back and that's no good for me. But if my cupping is so dominant, I'll be able to drag and cup just like this and take him in. By bringing him in this motion, I secure a hook cutting off his top roll, also forcing him to a hook, but my hook is now in a better position. Then arm wrestling, you wanna secure the hand before you go for the pin. Once I have the hook secure, my body's tight, and bring it over in one isometric movement. If I drag back and my hand's weaker than his, and I lose my wrist, this type of hook is not gonna work. So the second form of hook is the shoulder committed hook. It's more of a defensive hook versus pulling back, doing more of a high hook. And the knuckles high is more of an offensive hook. Defensive hooking, instead of dragging everything back and cupping, there's a secret that I learned from a lot of the pros. If my wrist isn't strong enough to drag him in like this, sometimes if I'm here, if he can take my wrist here, from flat to flat, he might be stronger than me, right? And Chris, you're going to the pan with roses. Thank you, man. That's a, thank you. If, if we're wrist to wrist, flat, he can take it. He has a stronger hand than me. But say I started here with my wrist cupped in. Can he peel me out from a hooked motion? He can't, no matter how strong his wrist is. And if that's the case, how do I get here if I'm not strong enough to bring him in like this? This is where the secret comes in. You're going to start, instead of pulling back, you don't have to use your strength until you get into the position. So you're fighting for the hook position. From the beginning, as he goes to pull you back in top roll, you're gonna cut him off by moving forward and scooping in. So now, I'm not using any strength, per se, to pull him back like this with my wrist curl strength. I know I'm strong here, and he's stronger here, so to get here, I'll jump forward, and I'll turn his wrist over to where I know he can't peel me out of. And now I committed inside to a hook. He can't roll out of me 
he's a top roller. My strength's in the hook, I'm golden here. By doing this and gripping as deep as you can, open your thumb as deep as you can into their thumb and trying to get around their arm, it's really gonna allow you to jump forward with your shoulder and scoop that motion in. So when he goes to top roll and I scoop him in just like this, I have, if he moves his hand out of the way, to get out of the way, I have that hook shape by coming forward and now my wrist is strong and he can't peel it open. Versus if I were strong enough, I would do this method because it's so much more dominant. I bring him onto my side of the table. How is he gonna move anywhere? I've brought his whole body to where I'm strong. If you can do that, that would be the most, most preferred way. If you can't and you still wanna be a hooker, you're gonna have to come in a little bit more shoulder, but you can scoop in your wrist instead of having to do the wrist curl and then lock your wrist in here. There are cases where people have a very strong top roll where he'll be able to peel me out from here anyway. In which case, at that point, you're just gonna have to keep working your wrist curls and that's why the top roll is such an effective move. But that is how to hook an arm wrestler. All right, how about here, you guys come pull. Do, do a left, do left arm or something, whatever arm you guys want. Chris, is your thumb sore, man? You keep going with the roses. Thank you so much. That Chris's finger ain't gonna work tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. All right. We've got Joseph and Josh on the table right now. Arm wrestle Larry Wheels. I would love to. I think Larry Wheels, thank you for the tiny diny, or if I said that right. Larry Wheels is very strong. Do you make, do they make you alternate arms in tournaments? What was your username? Mello Bermicello. I'm saying that right. So they can, uh, you can choose which arm to enter in an arm wrestling tournament. The pads are interchangeable. Just nice and slow and pull back, guys. Just get that uh, strength working. Thank you, Burgess, for the weights. So you can choose to enter just right hand. You can choose to enter left. I usually do both if I'm going into a tournament injury free. Because in a tournament, you're sitting around a lot all day, and I really want to just pull as much as I can. Their weight classes, yes. So I think all of us are in different weight classes. They might be in the same weight class. I'm in a lightweight. I like your viz. I easily saw you knew what you were doing. And we're still learning. Thank you, Crispy Steak. I pre or Chris yeah, Crispy Steak. I appreciate that comment, man. Have you met Devin? I talk with Devin. We follow each other on Instagram. He's the one that got me into arm wrestling. But... I have yet to meet him, and I, I really do plan on meeting him soon. I think he's coming out to California very soon. Am I Travis? I am not Travis. What do I mean? How long have I been on wrestling? A little bit over two and a half years. This table, like, I don't know, I got it on Amazon, but oh, right now on the PR lifestyle in my link, for the, I usually have a 15% off code. For the first time ever, it's... Uh, 25% off, so you can get a table for like $150 off what it's normally, what it normally costs. Nice and easy. So, I think uh, it's probably gonna be the best deal the website's gonna have for a while. It's one of the, it's the video, it's the table that I use in all my videos because it's the most sturdy one I have. These are just our practice tables that uh, I, we got, I, one of my teammates got uh, this table for us. And everything you guys are helping with today by donating all the roses, Chris, and the pancakes that you guys are doing. It's gonna help us afford more tables so we can afford uh, to have more people in the garage. That'll give more people to, for you guys to see me arm wrestle in the lives, and more people in the sport of arm wrestling. He needs to hook, yeah. Have you seen, ever seen a guy break his arm in a competition in person? Not in a tournament, but I've had some guy's arm break right, right in front of me and almost like hit my face. But uh, I'm a super ten thousand. Do I? The question is, do I have to put ten thousand dollars up myself? Because I, I really don't have that kind of money right now. Working on it though. How do I get the wrist all the way down? What do you mean by getting the wrist all the way down? Staying in your shoulders. Staying within your shoulders, okay, so staying within your shoulders is, like if you're arm wrestling with your right hand, you wanna keep your right within your shoulder line. This is your shoulder line. If second it comes outside of your shoulder line, you'll feel the tension on your bones. This is where you don't wanna feel it. It only takes 15 pounds of pressure on any given arm, unless it's conditioned, 
for, a, for an arm to break. So keeping it within your shoulders by moving your body up and down and turning your shoulders in instead of letting it get out of your shoulders is how you're gonna prevent an arm break. Chris, you're going crazy, man. Make sure you're pulling. Make sure you're pulling back. Yeah, just hammer curl. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Saying I'm not gonna get to the All right. I'm gonna have them go back and forth on me here in just a few minutes to tie my arms out, but I gotta go grab something really quick, and then we'll go over some forearm workouts and, and wind down a little bit in a minute. Just give me a few minutes. was like intimidated about I beat them easy and there was the guy who didn't look as big but was quicker it's interesting how it works not that he wasn't strong but he just didn't look the guys were just like you know like bodybuilders also can only get you so far yeah. it's all about the practical training yeah and where you're strong yeah. it's very specific very specific you can probably bench almost double Did <laughs> you say you bench like 440? Uh, I no, wish. No, my max is like 425. But I don't bench quite as much as this. I mean, bench is overrated moving anyway. Sure. Just put this on and do that. All right, I'm back, guys. We're going to go back and forth between my arms and see uh, how many rotations I could do of holding them until I can tire them out. Appreciate every single one of you in here enjoying arm wrestling with me. This is literally my goal. Oh. All right. You guys want to do right first, left first? Uh, we were just pulling Just right, so right. Maybe left yep. first. Just left. So it'll be even, yeah, even, even when it gets to the point, well, even you might even pin me right away, but even if you pin me, whether I pin you or you pin me, it switches after every pin, but you guys switch back and forth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Some might just be able to pin you back. <laughs> just pin me like a hundred times back and forth. <laughs> yeah. I'll do my best not to let that happen. Yeah. A lot of people are screen recording you and you just have a compilation. Delusional biker <laughs> compilation. <laughs> I'll, I'll just play the video in reverse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. Ready? Go. Oh. Oh. You trying to top roll me there? I was. I'm working everything. It's very hard to. It's very hard for me to top roll someone as tall as him when his fingers can like fold over my because I'm pronating into fingers that have really long wrap reach around my hand which helps them contain so much of the strength I'm applying pressure to versus if someone had shorter fingers and they're at the back of my hand it'd be a lot easier to pry them open Thank you. 
I think that was a pin, huh? Well, I don't know. I don't think it was. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I, was, I was almost one. I'll give it to you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. You don't need that. Have a bit. <laughs> yeah, I do. I got short arms. I gotta try <laughs> to get up there. giving you more trouble left than I was. <laughs> I was just spinning. This is the style. So. I know. Oh. Oh. If I can't take your wrist and you force me into a hook, yeah. it's like... It's harder to force you into a hook right, so that's going to be interesting. God dang it. <laughs> you're making it harder to get a grip, but you're also giving me more rest time by doing it. <laughs> You could just, you know, go without getting the perfect oh, grip, okay. you know. Oh. oh, there we go. There's his wrist. might be cooked soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Close. Team effort. Shit. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> ah. That's good. You okay. like the tag team super match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me, get, let me get a little bit of blood out of the eye. You guys gotta, you guys gotta send me some energy. Oh, give me some of your strength. All right. You also took a lot out of me in the last one too. So, oh, what is this? What do you mean? What, what is this? Is still higher. What is this? Is still higher what is this? This is madness. God. <laughs> He's trying to get his stamina back. Uh, it's them. They're sending me energy. <laughs> it's all those pancakes you guys are sending. <laughs> They're finally uh, digesting. <laughs> Stop trying to carbo load. <laughs> all right. Okay. <sighs> This is, uh, it's it's so hard to make you better. This is how long his form is. He's making it so difficult for me to get a grip. <laughs> ah! 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 Left his toes <laughs> No. 
No! Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a good regret. just combine my, like, hand and pronation strength with, with his arm. With his arm? That would be like the ultimate. Yeah, that would be the craziest combo. <laughs> that would be not be easy to deal with. Okay, okay. Give you a little bit more, guys. Give me a little bit more energy than that. We're not done yet. Yeah, this is only the yet. left arm. So. <laughs> oh, okay. And we got right arm after this. <laughs> we should have started with the right arm. But the 20 pound difference is gonna show in the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that was a blow-up. Uh, that endurance. Ah! Are you getting stronger? Yeah. <laughs> They're giving me energy, man. I'm t I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sharing the pancake. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Trust that. <laughs> he's trying to make me chase him. That's what he's doing. Well, ref script. Ref script. There's no ref. <laughs> There's no ref. All right. What? Right. Well, you told me to grab what? it. What? You told me to grab it. All right. All right. All right. All right. <sighs> all right. My next loss will switch to my right. Like this. God dang. This is the one position you never want to be in an arm wrestling. Oh, that's a parallel thin. Yeah. Good job. I'll give it to you. Oh, <laughs> I'll give it. I took it. I, yeah, I, I gave you my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least let me have some water before we do right. Oh my gosh. All right. Now for the fun arm, the right arm. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Smart bro. Oh. Smart bro, maybe Jeez, this once he cups me, I'm like, oh. Let's see. My wrist I no feels attack. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can answer some questions after we do this and wrap it up. Why oh, do you look so serious? It's just, it's just practice, Josh. Don't don't hit hit now unless you want me to hit hit too. Fingers, you don't need them. 
Come on, Mr. Pinky. Mr. Pinky. Pop you open. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Mr. Pinky. Go. Uh, Coming for that. Thing. Oh. How's that cup feeling? I'll tell you in a minute. We'd like a freedom arm wrestling table, huh? Then we take forever to get a grip. Get your grip. Is that what you want? <laughs> ah. <sighs> 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 tell his hand is fatigued but his arm's still like yeah. crazy strong. Stay tight. More, more back pressure. Bring that shoulder forward. <coughs> Left one. There you go. Jeez. It's just practice. Just practice. Yeah, it's just practice. Okay. Just a practice point. Why are you gripping me like you're gonna kill me? <laughs> oh gosh. I think I got you in like a thumb walk. I really feel my bicep blowing up. <laughs> He's the only human. That's right. That's right. I feel it on my shoulder. What's the... <laughs> oh. It's a good grip, right? <laughs> For you, that's a great grip. You seem fair. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to... Just let me have it, ET. We need that thumb for your uh, YouTube and TikTok to respond to your comments. <laughs> it's your good thumb. I still got this one. <laughs> oh. 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 It's getting there. It's like probably two or three, if not this one away. Oh, the blood. I saw that 
coming. I did. I, well, I didn't expect it, but I, I felt it. I got lucky there. It's coming. Especially with whatever you're doing. It's going to take a shower today. Start, start from there. Oh, oh yeah, I feel it. One more slip and we'll go on the strap. Oh, you tired this boat out quicker than you <laughs> oh, I'm so blown. I fell blown. I'm blown. Uh, uh, oh, he's going now. He's going. I can't feel it. I can't feel it. All right. Imagine how many views you would get if you had a heart attack on street. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with you, Josh? <laughs> It's not my heart that's yeah. racing. <laughs> it's my, my shoulder. Uh, a pacemaker. God. Oh, this is it. Gosh dang. Go. Uh, Here we go. Uh, uh, a deep hook. Uh, 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 All, right. All right, now you guys arm wrestle. <laughs> Oh, it happens. Thank you guys for the follows. My arm. Holy cow. Mm. Thank you, Beverly, for the follow. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate all of you. Oh, it's right here on the shoulder. Just make sure you're pulling back hammer curl style. Oh, I thank you, so Anna, for the fire. The form so long. Gosh, I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Him, whereas he tries to pull your style, where you're strong, and I just go. Uh, I need some water for that. And then with the long arm, it's like... oh, I can barely pick up the water with my right. <laughs> Let me switch arms. Oh man. fingers pronate pronate and pull back oh god good it's crazy as the styles yeah change everything because he yeah seems to be giving you way more trouble hey that's good but it's like we're attacking you complete opposite ways yeah i had to going against two extremes having to adjust each for you i would have to go deep in the hook and then for him i'd have to focus more on the a high hook outside yeah, you pressure. don't have yeah. to worry about this. Yeah. Yeah. Do some left. We just did right, right? Yeah, of course. That's why I feel it. Do a little bit left. Hoping all that work 
just put a lot of blood in my shoulder. That's the goal. Even though I feel it, it should heal it. Yeah. Yeah, blood is key. Blood is everything. Oh, I, I saw a couple comments of you guys asking what bikes I have. I'll show you in the garage here when we're done arm wrestling. And when I go to answer some questions. Go. Ah. Don't you dare look at me like that. <laughs> Don't let yourself get fixed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's not a strong enough grip. I could have just squoze your fist. Just completely engulfed. Until you tap down. Boxing video too. You know? <laughs> you don't want to I'm be gonna used. be completely honest. I don't know if I can afford to lose any more brain cells. <laughs> I gotta keep what I have. Nice, nice, nice. You're good at uh, it's crazy how much harder it is to do that right. I'm able to get in like this left, but right, I'm just barely able to get. Actually, most of the time, you, you take the wrist yeah. back right. Well, I feel like my arm is just a strong left. It's my pronation yeah. that's way weaker, because all my other lifts are about even, Yeah. except for my pronation is. <laughs> I will. Destroy you in my pinky. <laughs> okay, we now actually hurts. <laughs> Just give up. I'll never give up. I'm gonna press your pinky. It's a wooshy finger. Hole. That's right. Uh, never seen first scene here. I know I still have something. Going arm for arm, I feel like it's easier. Yeah. yeah. Let me try two different things. Go. Ah, that was not the right move. Okay, let me do the other move. <laughs> Why don't you just top roll? Go. Ah. 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 I'm not letting go. Never let go. <laughs> Don't let go, Jack. <laughs> your bicep's gonna give up. Is it? Or is your arm gonna give up? Come on, just do a hammer curl. That's all you gotta do from this position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Like it? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm fine with it. <laughs> Strap. Did you, did you just run? Run? Is that what that was? I ain't run anywhere. I walk everywhere I go. I don't have the capabilities to run. Because <laughs> you had your, no. your legs and pretended so that you, <laughs> so you get in a lower, what, lighter what, weight class. Why do you think I always wear jeans? <laughs> Exactly. It's going to be the new conspiracy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Be some dedication. Traps tell no lies. Like I said, everyone new in here. You guys, uh, 
a couple people are going to get some straps, a couple people are going to get some stress balls. It'll show me who the most engaged viewer was, who had the most likes and all that stuff. And I will follow you back in, so I'm allowed to message you guys. So thank you so much for everything you guys have been doing to support. And that way, you just said that. Come with me. Thank you, Anna, for the fire. And who sent that thing really quick before we get into this? It disappeared so fast. Oh, man. Thank you, though. I think it needs to be a little tighter. Yeah, so <laughs> tight. It only benefits you if it's looser. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine yeah. with it being loose. You like, you like it tight, though, or you like it loose? Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, I like it really tight. It makes it harder for me. So you should want to loose. <laughs> I think it froze on me for a second. We are back. I think it said my battery was on no battery or something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you think Scotty's gonna get into arm wrestling? Beat you one day. <laughs> Try to distract. It's not gonna work. Don't grab my pinky. It's not gonna work. Get this respect. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> See, that was an intentional slip. That's, that's a lot. No, you slip. You let who? You let go of my pinky. Right, that was that was round one. Okay. Right. One to zero. All right, okay. Best of seven super match. <laughs> Whatever rules I make up as we go. <laughs> so this round, if I pin you, I lose. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you after. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Two zero. <laughs> Two up. <laughs> no, you can't pin for the first ten seconds. Ten seconds. That's the rule. Okay. Yeah. Right. Who's ten seconds? Mine or yours? I'll count them in my head. And okay. I'll let you, All right. I let, might let you know. Let me know, it's... please. Ten seconds up. <laughs> <laughs> now the, the ten seconds started over though, because you have a five second pen. <laughs> so I mean, this is the opposite. I'll make the rules. I just this enforce is the them. Opposite of oh, yeah, that, yeah. This is the opposite of freedom arm wrestling. <laughs> Or like Alan, when you go up to arm wrestle, Alan. Yeah. But it, it was a running foul. <laughs> running foul. I lost. It was like a slight I, elbow foul. I lost you know? again, guys. I lost again. <laughs> I can't win again. <laughs> no, it's just it's just a reset. Oh, so reset. Pin. Okay. okay. No pin. Reset. No pin. No pin. You were what two zero right now? Yeah, still. <laughs> uh, two, two one. one. Two one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Two, two. <laughs> right. oh my God. No. <clears throat> Go. Don't you there. I feel like all the pancakes are gone. Right. Uh, I think that's three, two. Three. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you're, you're the three. 
No, you, no, you're the three. Three. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you ranked in Cali? No idea. I'm about to take that. <laughs> and you beat the king of Cali, right? For the uh, at 150. Yeah, there you go. At 235 pounds, I'm going to be the king of Cali at 150 if I beat you. <laughs> Is that your weight right now? 235? Like, yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, damn it. What's funny is the video where we pulled, you put on there, I was like two, like 19. Yeah. But I'd actually gained weight like since then. Oh, really? So I was actually heavier and people were calling me, that guy's like that guy's 19. I'm like, it's not coming. I'm like, so six, three. Yeah. I'm actually heavier than that. You guys. But people don't factor in height. You guys are not going to believe the new video that's coming out. Okay, so I arm wrestled a guy who's 185, like 183, 185. I weighed in that morning at 168. And I'm going to put that on the video. But he looks uh, like 145 on the video, and I look like 190. Everyone's gonna say or something. It's the reason why the weight's not accurate is uh, watch like watch this, guys. If I'm standing here on the table and he's standing next to me, it might look like I'm bigger than him. Well, it probably still doesn't even look like I'm bigger than him. But I'm out angling him. See, our arms are lined up in the middle, but my whole body is on the left side of my arm towards you guys. His is to the right, so the perspective is further out. So if we switch sides of the table like this. Oh my gosh, look how much bigger he looks now. Right? So if I just stood on this side of the table, probably, but it's harder to, to like see the live and, and read the comments. The size proportion looks accurate now, but on my videos, because I, I usually just when I record, press play like this, and then I grab arms with them. They're never going to believe the weight. So the video you're going to see, the guy's 185, but he does not look it at all. Oh, we are, we're on the wrong side of the bed. But I'm going to get so much hate for that video that's coming out. But it's okay. For the ones that appreciate it, I appreciate you. Distracting from your hand games. Uh. Uh. That's fair. That's yeah, that's fair. fair. Oh, you're in your league. Yeah, take a look at your knuckle. Uh -huh. There you go. You yeah. can see it. Go. There you go. I've never seen this before. Ugh. All right, you guys, you guys get a get a good pull. I want to see lots of hammer crash. I gotta, I gotta oh, see. Man. That was real go nonstop. I when I started arm wrestling, I'm used to going for like six to eight hours. Our practice is an hour from eight to midnight here in California, so it's like four hours for us. So I'm the only thing is like. I don't eat while I'm training, so I get like super starving while I'm training. Hey, how's it going, River Dead? <laughs> do you ever show your eyes? I do think I have some pictures on like my story highlights on Instagram, but uh, it's out there. It's definitely out there. <laughs> Just pull slow, guys. Thank you so much for the 500,000 likes. You guys are seriously really awesome. And for helping us hit the pancake goal a couple times tonight. Hey Anna, how you doing? How many hands do you think I've held? Thank you, Messy Fit, for the pancake. Uh, thank you again for the other pancake. You're so awesome. The uh, how many hands have I held? I pulled like oh, hundreds. I probably just pulled over 100 Marines. Over yeah, like over 100 Marines alone. 
What state? It's late as hell. It's 11.24 p.m. here in California. Can we see the bikes? Yeah. I'm actually going to go grab something really quick, and then I'll show you guys the bikes. I right, John Smith, how much do I bench? Uh, yeah, so I pull over 100 reins over the course of a year. Uh, let's see. I, I want to do a video where I pull like 100 Marines at once, back to back, and see how many I can get through. Or I want to pull like 100, like a video series of pulling 100 different people, 100 cops, 100 firefighters, Marines, soldiers. Hi from Malaysia, hello. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think I remember the last time I benched. I think with two hands I could... I actually don't even do concentric bicep curls. I, uh, I just strictly arm wrestle lately. I find the strength I want to gain is in arm wrestling, so I mostly do that. How often do I work out? I arm wrestle two times a week, and then I'm doing something for arm wrestling lift-wise with my forearms every single day. Let's see. The best diet tips, everyone's body and digestion is different. I actually was going through some health issues where my digestion was horrible. So I used to be 198 pounds and then I dropped to 148 in two months because I couldn't really eat. And then I slowly worked back in with chicken and rice and now I keep it pretty clean on chicken rice. I need to eat more vegetables. They definitely help, but after this practice, I'm gonna have a like a whole coconut and then cook some ribeye. Like once a week I'll have like a really good meal, like a ribeye, and then I'll also have like maybe two salmons a week. Most of the time it's just chicken and turkey and lean foods. Yes, boxing, whoever's the most engaged, just show me at the end and I'll reach out to a few of you guys. Usually it's like one or two, I might have to do three or five at the end of this. The best forearm exercise, I'll see if my phone battery doesn't die. I will be able to uh, show you guys some of that. I'll show, I'm actually going to grab something and I'll show you that. My bench, I don't know. I never really have benched since like 2018. So I'll be right back. Just pull nice and slow. I'm going to go grab something really quick. Oh, I'm going to put this down. I wanted to come to the tournament because I was actually in Oceanside mm -hmm. during that time, but uh, ET didn't you know, text me until like later that evening. He told me he wasn't there. Now, I should have asked him where the location was, but that's on mine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all about that, that wrist control, I'm telling you. Wrist is as stiff as a board. It's just going back and forth that keeps more fatigue. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Do one more? I'm almost. I can almost done. Now, luckily for me, I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow. I've been on leave for the past two weeks. Oh, nice. Well, that was nice. That was nice. You just need to get, get more fluid putting those things together. Everyone does. Yeah, I think in like it's, another. It's harder for you because like when I'm turning up, I gotta turn. And like when I do that, like especially since you're form so long, yeah, it puts me at a disadvantage for a brief moment. So that's why I don't like try to go yeah. into it. Yeah. Thing is though, I don't have like tons of side pressure to just. Like, Slam me down. I have to kind of slowly like work, like get like the perfect position. That's what my game is all about. So. See, like, 
Yeah, it takes a lot of hand control for me to just be in a, in a position where I can overcome the side pressure. It's all about angles. Do a couple right and then. I had to grab a coconut, but I'm back. Ooh, nice. Nice. That was beautiful. What I miss, guys. My body can maintain two fifty-three. That's a good form exercise. Like right now, definitely not. I see really pretty good. One of the best things you guys can do for forearm exercises is keep, uh, get like a martial art belt strap. I've got a carabiner attached to this, but you can attach weight. You're gonna put it through your thumb like this. So it comes down the back of your thumb. And it wraps around like this, and you're gonna put as much weight as you can on there. And you're gonna pronate just like this. This is the most underrated arm wrestling movement out there. It's called the pronator teres muscle. That's the muscle that goes from your forearm. This line attaches from your ulnar bone and to your radial. And doing this with as much weight as you can is going to give you the ability to take someone's hand and crack their wrist back like this. That's what this motion does. And the hand control in arm wrestling is very important. It's key. That's what Josh just won his first tournament by doing is controlling someone's hand. And he can do... Like most people can't even bicep curl 100 pounds. Josh can take 100 pounds like this through his hand that's wanting to open it and he can pull 100 pounds off the ground like that. Like a lot of people will struggle with 20 pounds, 30 pounds that aren't arm wrestlers. He'll just pull it up just like that. It's absolutely crazy. Let's see. Another thing you can do, the two best are gonna be pronation and then the second, well probably one of the, I call it CPRs. So it's cupping, pronation, rising and supination. Cupping is basically wrist curls. Any way you can do a wrist curl, whether it's from a pulley coming down or from the ground, that's where you're gonna see most of the strength gains in arm wrestling because cupping is gonna prevent someone from top rolling your wrist back. So you wanna have a strong wrist this way and a strong wrist that way. So like if we go right, Josh, for example, he's gonna do his best to top roll me and I'm gonna see if I can cup him in and sink him into a hook. Arm wrestling is a combat sport because for every move, there's a counter move. Just like if he were to punch me, you can dodge. For every kick, there's a block. For every punch, there's a block. In arm wrestling, there's a move, there's a counter, there's offense, there's defense. It's like a complex game of physical chess, almost. So he's gonna go ahead and attempt a top roll and I'm gonna see if I can sink the hook. And if I weren't able to get the hook, this is what it would look like, go ahead. He would take my wrist back like this. I'd be in a horrible position. Boom. But now I'm going to do my best. I want you to go all out, and I'm going to do my best to see if I can contain this top roll. Go. Oh. So right now, he's got me, and he's applying a lot of pressure on my fingers. But I, behind his wrist, I was able to put a nice hook shape into there, which is able to help me. Now, I don't have him fully hooked because our wrists aren't connected. But if I work my way into it, I can cinch the full hook on him. And this is the strength move in arm wrestling with your elbows, biceps, shoulders, tendons are all engaged. Have him hooked in and bring him down. Easiest way to pin someone in arm wrestling though is the top roll. So those two movements, wrist curls, and it could be a strap. You could even use a belt, put weight on it. You could use martial arts belt. Shit, you could even use the strap that one of you guys are gonna win from the live or 
Get yourself these, let's see. Get yourself an exercise band like this. This is amazing, because you just step on it and go, boom, and crank that out. Work up with the lightweight bands, work to the heavy, prone it all the way in like this. Hold it statically, hold that for as long as you can. Arm wrestling is a game of static holds. Instead of me concentrically doing that to him, if I could lock up isometrically and just pull him back into a top roll. So instead of being in and rolling him out, if I could start like this and do one isometric motion, then I could take him on. What was that? Bubba, thank you for the sports car. And that looks so cool. That is actually really awesome. Thank you, man. And thank you, Anna, for the, what is that? I can't see the weights. Thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate you. So the basics of arm wrestling, there's a ton of moves. Top roll, hook, press, and the worst and ugliest move of all. Show them, Josh. King's move. Oh, King's move. Dropping down basically as low as you can, having straight arm. Believe it or not, he's not cheating right now in arm wrestling. He's on an offensive side, and his uh, arm is straight. But when people arm wrestle for many years, they get this bone lock where their arm can't straight, and it makes it. All right, we're back. And it just basically makes it insanely hard to press through when his arm is straight like that. That is what makes it difficult. So the king's move is not something I recommend any beginner doing. Because if you don't have that calcification lock, your arm just going to go. But like, you know, it's not a good thing to have happen. In general, remember everyone out there, keep your hands within your shoulder line, meaning between your two shoulders. Don't let it exceed your shoulder like this. 15 pounds of pressure on your humerus can cause a fracture, a uh, spiral fracture of the humerus. So arm wrestle with your body, lean, pull back like this and arm wrestling. Use your body weight, because remember, it's one isometric motion and if you're too weak to do that isometric motion, if I'm arm wrestling Josh and he's stronger than me and I go, my angle's just gonna open up. You have to have the strength to use your body. But if you're just using your arm like this, this is how arm wrestling gets banned in school. Using your arm like this is just torquing your humerus bone. And that's how there's so many arm breaks in non-professional arm wrestling. Pro arm wrestling, professional arm wrestling has less injuries than most sports like pro basketball or professional football, even hockey. If done right, arm wrestling can be very safe. And one of my goals is to spread the sport and get the right way to do it out there. That way it stops getting banned in schools. Arm wrestling like got super popular in the 50s from America and it was on one of the first TV shows. And during all the wars and the uh, space race and everything like that, people were um, like Russia and Japan picking up arm wrestling like extensively to the fact where now Russia has some of the strongest arm wrestlers in the world because they teach it in uh, places like Russia while you're growing up as a kid in school. But arm wrestling, it's not part of the curriculum or a known sport, but they literally have tables like this in their school. And they've got a hundred kids lined up going, ah, ah, like back to back and doing arm wrestling lifts like I'm showing you. And by the time they hit puberty, they're just growing into perfect arm wrestlers. And what we got popular, people are now like excelling and getting so far in it. And it's amazing to see, but my goal is to grow it out for everyone here. So my phone is at like 10%. So before we go, I'm gonna answer any questions that I see, and then I'm gonna see if I can, I know some of you asked to see the bikes, let me see. If I can turn the camera around. How do I do that? Uh, where's the button to turn the camera around? Does someone know? I'll wrestle the guy in the back. Okay, I'll wrestle him in a second. This is uh, one of the bikes, it's a mess. This is the cafe racer that I have. A K1100. It was a luxury tour bike, but I got it converted into a cafe. I've got a dual sport outside of the garage. And do I live in Hawaii? No, but I was raised in Hawaii. And then this is my Fat Bob. I just got the Harley. This one's really fun. I've been riding it every day. I think I just got this one on Saturday, and I've already got like 350 miles on it. But 
it's just fun. I, I love riding. It helps me clear my mind. It's just some fun stuff to do. Always loved riding, arm wrestling, and a couple other things I want to get into. But I'd rather do them than say, because it's, it's better to take action. You got, a, you got any more right or left before we wrap it up? Yeah. All right. So the big guy that you're referring to, this is Joseph. He's in one of my videos that you can see. I, uh, I've been asking him to arm wrestle for a while at the store. And then he, we finally arm wrestled. It was just like less than a few months ago, right? Yeah. Figured out how strong he was. He joined the team. And he's just gaining so much strength so rapidly. You're going to see amazing things from him. And then Josh, the other big guy, but tall, he's just, he's been arm wrestling with me for a while now and joined the team. And he just won his first tournament. So we're, we're getting there slowly but surely. And with all you guys' help, we're getting there. All right. Yeah, but I really feel it in my shoulder. You have so much sideways force, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, all right. We can do one more left. We'll do one more left for you guys. We'll wrap it up. Any question I see after this, I'll do my best to answer, but my phone's gonna die. Other than that, it was such a great live, and having you guys here was like, it was more than a blast. Thank you for helping us reach all our goals. All right. Go. intensity you guys could, I don't know if you guys can see how intense his face is it's amazing the amazing thing is you're seeing you're yeah, seeing so it yourself yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, dang it this his leverage is so long that it's just so difficult to arm wrestle him <laughs> oh shit you're gonna try to slip aren't you no you're not gonna run, are you? I am running. No, you're not gonna run? No. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, ready? You ready? Ah! 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 Oh my god. Uh, different styles make it, uh, make it pretty difficult, but thank you guys so much for being here. It was, uh, it was absolutely a pleasure tonight. I am going to enjoy this coconut and I will follow the, um, the top people. I think I'll probably do five this time and gift you guys some line straps or stress balls as I promise, as I will always do my best to do. And any questions I see, I'll answer before my phone dies. 
I've watched this live longer than anyone ever. Who is that? Let's see. Rome, Texas. All right, all right, man. If your name pops up on there, I got you. Don't worry. If you're in the top five. Let's see. It was fun to watch. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What are we doing? We were just having a four-hour arm wrestling session. I've been watching for three hours. Damn, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Quotes of the real. Nice form. Thank you. We're doing our best. We're all learning together. And uh, we're working. I just showed my bikes. Um, Out wrestle Craig Tuller. No, but I know he's very strong. It's almost midnight over here, so I'm going to eat this coconut and then cook up a ribeye for dinner. Holy shit, that guy's genius. Tightest in the world. His legs are just that big. Those are actually like super loose jeans. It's just. <laughs> no, no, like if I wore those jeans, it would look like a dress on me. I'm serious. That's how crazy it is. All right, everyone. I'll show the, the bikes one more time. Maybe you can see it from here. Those are the bikes back there. One's the Cafe you Racer. Are you yeah. very hard this is the Harley. This is the one I'm riding mostly right now. That one when I feel like going fast. This one when I just want to cruise. I'm going to get a sissy bar on it and then change the exhaust. Probably get some Vance and Hines. Good luck with your quote, quote, combat sport. Hey, I've been told and explained that it was a combat sport. I understand it's not like a martial art, so to say, but uh, in, a, in a way, it's more of a combat sport that is tailored to, the, usually the stronger one wins, but the, I watched a couple of times the video that tall guy's dad is the champion. Now, his dad is insanely strong, very, very strong. Thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate you all tuning into the live. I go live from now on. My goal is every Thursday at 8, like a little after 8, once people start gathering for the practice, we'll start. And then we'll finish around like close to midnight. Take care, guys.